welcome to the Body Farm and Home. I am Marilyn Horton. I'm super excited that you chose to prioritize your health today. So today's workout is going to be all weights. So grab your favorite range of dumbbells that you have handy. Whatever you have, we can work with uh, as long as they're not crazy heavy. Um, if you have nothing but super heavy weights because your husband has dumbbells, but you don't have any of your own yet. Number one, buy, buy dumbbells. Number two, don't try and lift heavier, heavier than you are able. So be smart about this. We are going to start with um, just warming up the body before we do any, any heavy lifting. So we're just going to start with some easy sumo squats just right here. Nice wide stance. Toy, toes pointed out, nice and smooth. We're not rushing anything. We're just raising our heart rate slowly, getting the blood pumping, and warming up these are going to work. What's great about today's workout in particular is that this is a workout that you can do at home with dumbbells or with any kind of alternate weights that you might have. But you could also do this same exact workout in the gym or in the fitness facility that you train at. Or if you travel for business or for pleasure, the, the hotel gym that you, that you have access to, run in there, knock out a few of these exercises. You can do this entire workout completely at any facility that has dumbbells. So it's very open. It's one that you probably will want to earmark because it's going to be good. You're going to feel stronger. You're going to feel more energized, and you're going to feel like you can take on the world. Awesome. Let's add some arms to it. Just overhead. Still going nice and slow. We're not going to be doing any jumping or plyometrics or body weight stuff. This is all a weight lifting workout today. Resistance training is so incredibly important and foundational to our health. You know, whenever you grab people, even on the arm, who, who do not have the habit of weight training, you can feel it. It affects our aging in a negative way not to weight train. Even if you don't particularly enjoy weight training, it is an absolute foundational must for your health. So what I suggest doing is training with resistance exercises, weight training with dumbbells, the things that we do here together at least three times a week, 30 minute session, easy peasy, and then if you love to do bar or Pilates or yoga or you love to run or ride your bike or MMA, whatever you like to do, you do that in addition to weight training. But don't sacrifice your weight training because your weight training is a prescription from your doctor. It's a critical element to your health and to your aging process. And it will make the quality of your life so much better the older that you get. It's not just about the aesthetic, you know, looking good. Weight training has, has foundational properties that are just critical. And they will help keep you off medications as you get older as well. So there's just no losing with having a good foundational weight training regimen. And programs like this are going to be helpful in making sure that you know all of the steps you need to take, whether we're working out together or whether you're working out on your own in a gym or a fitness center. It's just good to have all of this knowledge at your fingertips. But this would be a great workout to do anywhere. Good job. Now, we are going to work the entire body today 
with weights. I'm just doing calf raises, just coming up on my toes, just adding pressure right there. Getting that blood pumping, circulating through the calves. We've gotten to be such a sedentary society anymore. I won't get on that soapbox, but even simple calf raises make a world of difference in just our circulation through our legs. It's incredible how many people, even young people these days, are having issues with blood clots in their legs and people are having strokes earlier and earlier because we are sitting all of the time, all of the time. So anything that we can do to keep the blood pumping through our legs in particular is really critical. It's life or death. So today's body work is going to be head to toe, weight training exercises. We're going to hit all of the large muscle groups, which, which reciprocates. I'm not, I'm not thinking of the word that I want right now, but in, in hitting the large muscle groups, you also hit the secondary, the smaller muscle groups as well. So you don't have to do a hundred bicep curls to work your biceps. You can do a back exercise that also works your biceps. Same with chest, same with legs and calves and glutes, you name it. We're gonna hit everything, whether it's primarily or secondary. Good, all right, we're just gonna sit back in some squats, nice and gentle. I've got my feet close together, they're shoulder width apart. I'm just sitting back and down right here. Keeping your chest lifted, your shoulders back, your spine aligned. You can do whatever you want to with your hands, with your arms when you're squatting, just body weight. You'll see me do it like this sometimes. You'll see me just hold out in front. You know, sometimes when we're doing squats with, with dumbbells in our hands, we're doing it right here. So whatever helps you feel balanced and comfortable. Good job. All right, is your water handy? We are gonna start with our leg muscles. So we're gonna rotate through. We're gonna work leg and then another area leg and then another. We're gonna kind of jump all over the body so that it's not, so the blood's not pumping just to one area of our body at any given time. We're gonna keep that blood circulating. We're gonna keep our body guessing and not getting sedentary. And then also that gives that muscle group time to rest while we're hitting another part of the body. So we are doing a complete tone and revamp workout today. Because we're working legs, I recommend that you get a heavier, a little bit heavier dumbbell than say you would for shoulders. It's just a lot larger muscle group and a lot stronger muscle group, generally speaking. So we are going to start with deadlifts. So it's essentially a squat to the ground, and you're going to pick the weight up off of the ground and stand all the way up. So let me show you from this side. I'm going to squat to the ground, pick up the weight, and back up. And then down, we're not putting the weights down, we're just going all the way back down to the ground, and back up. Now, if your flexibility is such where you can't get all the way back to the ground each time, that's fine. You go as low as you can, but I encourage you to try, without rounding your back, to try to get as far down to the ground as you can. We're not putting, if we start rounding our back to pick up the weight, that puts undue pressure on our low back, and that's a really good way to become injured. So we don't want to round our back. We want to keep nice, clean form while we're doing our deadlifting. 
So, we're going to grab our weights. We're going to hit each body area, and then we're going to go back through. Just go through and through and through, okay? So, we're not going to sit here in this area for more than a few rounds, and then we're going to go to the next, and then the next, and the next, and then we're going to come back around, okay? Just stick with it. All right. Deadlifts right here. We're 10. Two. Good. Three. Four. Nice, slow, and controlled. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. We're going to put those down. We're going to shake it out just a, sec just a second. Then we're going to go back. We're going to do ten more. And then we'll move to the next muscle group. All right? So we're going to go two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. two. All right? This is going to pick up speed once we really get into it. I just want to make sure that you are using safe best practices because you do not, I do not want you getting uh, injured on my watch. All right, another round of 10. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Excellent work. We're going to put the leg weights to the side and pick up a medium range weight for our back. We're going to do one side at a time. We're going to work unilaterally, which is my absolute favorite way to work any muscle group. So that way, you know, you're never cheating. It's all in one side or another. We're going to do bent over, jerks, or one-arm rows. But we're going to go one-arm rows from the floor. So we're going to bring it all the way up, elbow up, and all the way back down. It kind of rotates a little bit, so I'm going to show you from both angles. So I put, it, put the dumbbell by your opposite foot that you're lifting. And we're pushing, pulling all the way up. And see how my shoulder goes back and rotates a little bit? This is working so many muscles through our back, through our low back. Even our abs are in on this. So it is, it is really a wonderful, well-rounded exercise for our backs. So we're going to do our weakest side first. You always want to start with your non-dominant side. I am right-handed. So I generally start non-dominant exercises with my left. Brace yourself. You ready? For 10. One, two, three. Again, if you can't get all the way down to the floor each time, get as close as you can. Six, seven, nice flow and control. Nine and ten. Good job. Now we're going to switch sides. I'm going to fall over. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Good job. All right. Shake it off a little bit. Get a sip of your water if you need it. Be sure, especially with bent over exercises like we're doing with these one arm rows, that you continue breathing. Those are the kinds of exercises that not only are very easy to start to hold our breath, but then we hold our breath, we're working, and we're bent over. So that's when it's actually easiest to faint or get dizzy or pass out or whatnot. So we don't want any of that. So as obvious as this sounds, 
whenever I say keep breathing, it's because these are exercises that are very easily uh, breath holding kind of exercises without even really thinking about it. So it's just a little reminder. Kind of like when you tell your kids, buckle up, even though you know they're already grabbing the seatbelt or whatever. It's just, it's instinct. All right, next round. Back to the non-dominant side. One. Two, three, four. Good job. Nice, slow, and controlled pulls. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Good job. Switch sides. Down its side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, good job. Eight, nine, last one. Good job. Shake it off a little bit. We're gonna go back to our legs. So we're gonna grab those, those heavier weights. Now we are going to do what I like to call my favorite leg exercise ever. <laughs> we will be doing a lot of these and I'm very particular about form as I am with most things. This is a stiff legged deadlift. And what I love so much about stiff legged deadlifts is it's again taking the weight all the way from the floor up. But this works our rear end and our hamstrings, which those are the dominant muscles in this exercise, as well as, our, as keeping our low back nice and strong. And these are kind of forgotten muscles the older that we get. It's very easy to not work those muscles. Um, so unless you are a runner and are always kicking up that leg, you likely have gotten very weak in your hamstring. Unless you do specific exercises to keep that booty nice and strong, it has probably gotten a little bit flat sliding down your legs or whatnot. It's just so easy for these areas to get very weak uh, because um, we have to work a little bit extra in order to keep those strong. They're not muscles that um, automatically get worked in our day-to-day -day life. So stiff-legged deadlifts, are an amazing, amazing exercise. The way that we perform them, and I have, I have shared these in uh, an express workout before as well, so if this is not new information to you, just uh, keep sipping on your water and enjoying a little bit of rest time. <coughs> so, my feet are shoulder width apart, soft knees, not bent, but not locked out. Soft knees, flat back, shoulders pulled back, no rounding of the back as usual. And you take the weight all the way from the floor, up, standing all the way up. Shoulders back, chest high, head aligned, spine aligned. Then all the way back down to the floor. Nice full stretch. You get as close as you can to the floor, even if you aren't flexible enough to hit the floor each time. Even going to right here will still give you a nice pull and then therefore be able to really target the muscles that we are trying to target. But we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna do it from the floor. You do it from where you are. Let me show you from the front what this movement looks like. So I've got my weights. And I'm just coming up and back. All right, shoulders pulling back at the top of that movement is critical. It will help keep those shoulders nice and strong. It'll help really continue to target that low back. All right, we ready for our 10 and 10? One. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, good job, nine, last one, ten, and put the weight down, shake it out a little bit, where are you feeling it? Wherever you're feeling it the most right now is where you are the weakest. So where your muscles are weak, they're going to kind of ignite uh, more quickly whenever you are working them in such a concentrated way. So if your body's speaking to you right now, it is telling you where your weaknesses are and so that you know better what you need to work. And this is an amazing quality that the body has. I love that when we listen to our bodies, it actually tells us oftentimes exactly what we need most. So we're shaking it out. We've got our water. Did you need, you need a sip of water? Round two, right here in the stiff legged deadlifts for 10. One, two, three. Good. Hold back shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Put those to the side. Good work, good work. We are going to go back to our medium range weights and we're going to work chest and I am going to grab a mat, but you don't have to have one. I just don't want to lay on these dirty tiles. If you are at home, you are probably good to go with just laying on the carpet for this. If you do this workout in an actual gym that has a bench, that's even better for this, this particular exercise. But I like this exercise to target the chest even more than push-ups or presses. We're doing flies. So we're going to start, we're going to be on our backs, out like this with our dumbbells, and we're going to squeeze and pull it right up in front of us, over our chest and then back down. Our elbows are gonna be soft. They don't look terribly soft right now, I understand. But as we're lifting, they're gonna be soft. You're squeezing and releasing. Whenever you release, you're gonna go essentially to the floor since we're laying on the floor right now. But if you were doing this on a bench in a fitness facility or happen to have a workout bench there with you, then you would want to extend and stretch a little bit as your shoulders hang off the bench and then bring it up. All right, so we're going right here, but from the ground. Cool, cool. All right, we're grabbing our medium range weights. We're doing sets of 10 times two. Palms up. Are you ready? Press that uh, low back to the, to the mat. Make sure that it is nice and supported. One, slow and controlled. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Good job, nice and controlled. Nine, last one, 10, good job. Now what I love about flies is that they lift and really target the chest muscles. Now this is great for women in particular because whenever we have strong chest muscles, we have nice, strong, lifted, residual chest. So it's always good to keep our chest strong and lifted and and work our backs as well because that helps our posture, which also helps our residual chest be perky and and lifted and looking good for years to come. Ready for round two? One, two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent work. I'm going to put those off to the side. And I'm just going to move my mat just so it's kind of not in the way. Now we're going to work our obliques, which are right here on the side. I love having a strong core and a strong, strong ab muscles right through the center. But the bottom line is, if the stuff on the, on the side is not getting worked, then you end up kind of, kind of rolly over here, and that's no darn fun at all. So we're going to grab one of the muscles that are the, of the weights that we use for our leg muscles. So even though we're working such tiny little area right here, we're going to use our heavy weight because it's not all being lifted right here because of the way that this movement works. It's more of a lever system. And so, so in this case, we're going to use a heavier weight even for smaller muscles. So we've got the weight in one hand. We've got the other hand on our head or behind our head. And we're going to crunch towards that elbow. So we're crunching away from the weight right here and releasing back to kind of an extreme stretch right here. So we're kind of rocking back and forth like this. Now we're gonna do this for 10 on each side, rest 10 on each side. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. Now I'm going to do this next step to the side so you can see that I'm still staying as straight on. I'm not, I'm not rotating and wobbling a lot as I'm going through the movement. So we'll change sides. Ready for ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Good job. Put the weight down for a moment. Stretch it out. Good. Feeling good. Feeling really good. We're going to go back to that first side. And for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, really squeeze, ten. Good job. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and ten. Good work. Good work. Now we're going to grab our light weights. We're going to work our shoulders and we're going to do lateral raises just right here. I like to stand with my feet shoulder width apart and planted. I find that if I go too wide, then I get into kind of a swinging motion, which you'll see a lot in the gym, even as uh, as the very strong are lifting very large weights and they kind of need that momentum to lift. 
However, what I want to encourage is super clean arm. So just shoulder width apart, nice tall through the through the chest and, and spine, shoulders pulled back, and just right here, really squeezing those shoulders and shoulder blades as you lift, right here. All right, so grab your lightest weights. This is working the entire shoulder uh, girth at one time, so all three muscles in each shoulder are working. Um, so you may be able to go a little bit heavier, but start with the lightest, and then if it's too easy in the first set of 10, then move up a notch in for the second set. It's just a good indicator. Are we ready? One, two, good. Three, really control the movement. Four, five, six, squeezing those shoulder blades. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Put them down, relax a little bit, shake out those arms and shoulders. Get a sip of your water if you need it. Sorry, I'm fidgeting with my hair a lot today. It's driving me kind of crazy, and I'm right under a fan. So, heaven forbid I just put my hair up. All right, grab those weights. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, stay strong, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. Now, what we are going to do next, I want you to get a sip of your water, because now we are going to go through all of those exercises in succession without big breaks in between and without me correcting form or giving instructions. So we're just going to do 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, two times all the way through that whole rotation. But we're going to jump from exercise to exercise. I will let you know what exercise we're, we're doing, and I'll count along. But you know how to do it at this point. You know uh, what to watch for. So we're just going to do the exercises, and I'm going to shut up a little bit. <laughs> Crazy. We're going to start with our... So we need our heaviest weight. So after each 10, we're going to put those weights aside and grab for the next. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, ten. Back, back exercise. So medium weight, one arm jerks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, other side. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stiff like a deadlift. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chest flies. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Standing oblique, but with the heavy weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lateral raises with the shoulder weight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Now we're going to take a few seconds, breathe, catch your breath, get better if you'd like. The more hydrated you are, the more energy you will have, and the better you will recover because the more hydrated you are, the more efficiently your entire system is working. All right. One more round. Again, starting with standard deadlifts. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One arm rose from the floor. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Step like a deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flying chest flies. One, two, good, three, really squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Back to obliques. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, squeeze, good job. Switch sides, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last working set with our shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and ten. Good work. Good work. Now we're going to slowly stretch everything. And cool back down to normal. Take sips of water. Nice and slow. We're just going to do slow head circles. Just half circles to the front, side to side. And just lean towards that shoulder and over to the other. Back and forth, feeling that stretch. Pull your arm across, straight arm. Good, really hold. Now take it back behind your head. Good work. Your body is so happy with you right now, working so hard. Like I said, this is a great workout to do wherever you are and wherever you have dumbbells at your disposal. So utilize, utilize this workout whether you are traveling or staying at home. Now we're going to lace our fingers back behind our backs. And just feel that nice stretch across the chest. We're going to bend over and just kind of try to touch the floor. Just kind of lean against it. If that means you're out here, that's fine. We're stretching all from about midway through the back, all the way back into our calves and, and even into our heels and feet. Okay. Nice stretch. Deep breathing. Bend your knees and slowly, slowly, slowly roll up. Good. Now we're going to go into a nice wide stance and just stretch across. And we're going to tilt forward and reach. And come up the other side, stretch across. Come up, nice wide stance still, deep sumo squat. Try to reach your, touch your hands to the floor or stretch as deeply as you can, wherever that means you have to hold. You do what you need to do for your body to feel that stretch through all of these muscles that have worked so hard today. Good job. And come up. 
you need a chair or a counter or the back of the couch to brace yourself, we're going to do a quad stretch. So you're just going to pull that foot back and, and grab hold wherever you can. The goal is to hold our foot, keep the pelvis tilted under so that the stretch is right through here. Good. Nice hold. And bring it up to the, to the front. Stretch. Again, holding the counter or a chair if you need to. And release. Other side. Keep the pelvis tilted under. Good. Did you choose to turn on some music today? I'm curious as to what everybody enjoys listening to as they're working out. Good. Now we're going to press those feet back, stretch those calves, toes pointed forward, shoulders line, chest lifted, pressing back through the heel. And switch sides. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love that we have this time. Hearing how you're utilizing these workouts. I got the neatest message last night about from Linda, who is doing the two of the express workouts first thing in the morning before she begins her day. And then she's, she's pulling up this live stream workout later in the day when she gets off of work and is performing the whole 45 minute workout then. So she's doing this great metabolism boost, energy boost, first thing in the morning without a big, uh, a big time chunk. You know, we're talking about there of just workout time in the morning, which is perfect, the perfect way to jumpstart your day. And then after work, she's doing the full workout. So she's getting the full maximum benefit of this program, and that makes me super happy. I would love to hear how, how you're utilizing these workouts. What time of the day is working best for you to get your workouts in and things that you are loving the most. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am thrilled to be here with you and I love bringing the Body Firm Personal Training Boot Camps right to your device each and every day. So until we work out next, I hope that you are making it a great day.